Scorpio, what is good? It's Magic D. You can like, share, and subscribe below, and I hope you do. Welcome back. Let's get into it. It's going to be a general. I believe today is the 17th of June, so we're going to call this 17th through the 20th because it is near the end of the 17th where I'm at, and we're going to do a lot of oracles, so Scorpio, let us get into it. Magic D, Magician Tarot, like I said before, like, share, and subscribe below. Let's get into it. <clears throat> Mystic Mondays. It is not Monday. I'm well, well aware of this. This is sign like fever type deck to me, though. Look at the gilded on this. Okay. Scorpio, I know it's been a while. I've been worried about you. How you been? Water sign to water sign? Like, I mean, it's getting hot. It's getting nice, but how are we feeling emotionally? Let's check in, Scorpio. Let's see? Different energies. These are chunky. You know? We don't want to cooperate, but we're going to try to make them. We're going to try to make them bend to our will. What or who are you trying to make bend to your will? Let us see. <clears throat> Two of Cups. A love exchange. A lover. Someone who you trust, if it's not a lover. Someone who you absolutely would be there for 100% of the time. They are your soulmate. You are their soulmate. Doesn't have to be a romantic connection, but it's looking like it could be a romantic connection, Scorpio. <sighs> Breathe again, Tony Braxton. Y'all could have asthma, the two. Y'all could be smokers. I don't like that, Scorpio. But that's so you. Uh, Queen of Swords is here. This person could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They could be very much on your nerves. You could be on their nerves. Y'all climbed every mountain turned over every stone things are not working out for you the world in the reverse why princess of swords again their immaturity could definitely figure in they could like people who are like themselves they're looking for themselves and others they don't know themselves lovers here in the reverse yeah definitely this person could be a Jonah. but also leave requires like i said the emperor is here Another person could figure in, the law could figure in, a boss could figure in, not necessarily in the way that the Hierophant or whatever, but like the Empress. You could have somebody that you look up to a lot, female, feminine figure, maybe a mom, whatever. <sighs> Mentor. Ace of Cups here could have a great loss. In regards to this person, two of Pentacles, you did not make time for them, they did not make time for you. Look at the crazy goosebumps. <sighs> Decision was made to stake your claim to take your ground i see a pomegranate here i see a flower here i see bananas y'all could have made plantains like plantains together platanos scorpio heartbreak here bangles could have worn a lot of bracelets they could have worn a lot of bracelets maybe when you were growing up you were a bracelet person three swords is here again like i said a heartbreak maybe your parents could have gotten divorced or you could have had a rough childhood from the get-go temperance is here in the reverse again Drinking too much, smoking too much could be a problem for you. Nine of Wands is here. Anxiety and blocks against people. You could work in a very, uh, a field that just feels like stuff is just coming at you constantly. It's overwhelming. It's like a waterfall. TLC waterfalls could figure strongly for you. Okay, we're going to do the Rock Art Tarot. And then we're going to hit it with some oracles. Now, warning about the Rock Art. Really crazy cards. Okay, Scorpio. So open mind. Feels good to be reading for y'all again. I'm going to give a special shout out to one of my patrons, one of my great and worthy opponents, one of my supporters, Baby G. You know who you are. Thank you for your gifts and supporting this channel, and thank you for being an open minded person, a scholar. And I know you work really hard for. Uh, if this isn't, you know what I'm saying, like, if this is not hitting with you, then maybe this is not a reading for you. But I'm just talking to you like I know you because I feel like Scorpio I might know you. Five of intellect in the reverse. That's the five of swords in this deck. Mm, I hate that. Defender of sensations, that's going to be a knight. Persistence. Sensations of the pentacles. You put a lot of time in this person or you and this person are rock solid in some way and the memory is like etched. You could have some sort of engraved object that this person gave you. 
Persistence of memory figures strongly too. You could feel that this person and you have deaded their relationship or the relationship is over, but it's not really. And the peacemaker emotions is here, meditative. So the peacemaker and the defender. One is the knight and one is the page. I think this is the page. Meditative. You know, a small cup of love. Even a bouquet. This person could have given you a bouquet at some point or gave you flowers. Maybe you haven't received flowers since this person gave you flowers. I miss that. You have a memory that has to do with them. That has to do with childhood, flowers, some sort of innocence. A lot of pink is here. It's a super pink deck, but. Scorpio, this is deep. Four of intuition. That's the wands in the reverse. Prosperity in the reverse, so. Could be at odds with a Libra, for sure. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, because of the, in the last reading, I did Libra. <clears throat> so, your person could have a partner that they're married to. You could be married to a partner. Or you could have said no to this person's wedding proposal, for sure. You have intuition in your wand. You have premonition. Maybe you felt that there was too much past life baggage with this person. So your only idea and your only thought was, okay, I'm going to squash this before it goes too far. Weird. Very strange, Scorpio. Let's do some oracles. Okay. Let's start with the Sacred Traveler, because we got to get grounded. we got to do some purple for my Scorps. All right. <clears throat> Scorpio, Scorpio. I'm hearing they should not have messed with you, shouldn't have fucked with you in some way. Like, you blame them in some sense of bitterness that you have toward them. They did something to you that made you bitter toward them. So they're not completely at fault, and I feel like you are not completely at fault either, but it's something that is a very long and sordid, like, lovers from many, many, many lives kind of situation, Scorpio. What is the premonition that you could have had in regards to this person? What is the premonition? Ascending the mountain. Mountaintop could be important. Mountaintop Pennsylvania could be important. Mm -hmm. Raging on top is a motto. I always like keep going forward. It says, I mean, Mulan could be this person's favorite movie or your favorite movie. Like when I see snowy mountains like that, like don't frighten you think of Mulan. <laughs> keep going forward. I also see a solitary figure here. I see that they're leaving a land of flowers, going towards something much more difficult. Because ascending a mountain is not easy. People don't just like. Want to ascend a mountain, desert passage, trust there's divine. You definitely believe in fate, but you're somebody that does hard things and you do it for yourself, opening to your spiritual source, finding sanctuary. <sighs> Scorpio. Could you be finding sanctuary in fantasy and the wrong things, difficult things, something of that nature that is just nagging at you? Let's do a goddess oracle. Scorpio. Let's get some advice. It's clear that you are working really hard. It's clear that you are someone who prioritizes movement, upward movement, and a journey forward in some way. Marcel Proust. A true journey of self-discovery exists not in seeking new horizons, but in having new eyes. Okay. True love. Guinevere. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Scorpio, you also could be a mother. You could be somebody who always loved your mother, had a good relationship with your mother, or wanted to be a mother. But also true love for me, like my first thought was it's something that other people can never match up to or can never be, no matter how much other person is has done you wrong, I hear. They might be your true love in some sense, in some way that like they've hurt you beyond. And I feel super sad when I'm saying that because sometimes the people that love you are the ones that hurt you the most. Hold, please.
Guinevere. I believe Guinevere is from Arthur. <sighs> oh my god. That sucks, Scorpio. Okay, you know what we need, Sun Tzu? Art of War. I told you it was Oracle Knights. <laughs> we might as well get into it. And we probably will do the John Holland too. We're gonna find out the war tactic here. Who is this person and what is their perspective? Find out the war tactic. Move forward. <clears throat> okay. Are you trying to reclaim this person? Are you trying to reclaim yourself before this person? What do you want? What is the war tactic? Sun Tzu said, in respect of military method, we have firstly, measurement. Secondly, estimation of quantity. Thirdly, calculation. Fourthly, balancing of chances. Fifthly, victory. Measurement owes its existence to Earth. Estimation of quantity to measurement. Calculation to estimation of quantity. Balancing of chances to calculation. And victory to balancing of chances. So, some chance, some skill, some persistence, most of all. Like, but you have to see the problem in order to face the problem, Scorpio. That has been a theme for you. Okay, who is this person now? Let's find out. Who is this person? Who is this person? Rock art. Scorpio. Who's this person that, like, is taking you back to square one? And you're trying to figure out what is the tactic. For some reason, the tactic for you is face the problem. See the problem. You could be trying to heal your heart in order to move either forward with this person, decide if you want to take the next step with this person, decide if you want to reconnect with this person, but there's a lot that you need to think about if this is a person of the past. And I'm getting a lot of past energy. For intellect retreat... Two of sensations, jungler. This person could be a jungler. They could be a <laughs> person who loves the jugs. And you could be a person who loves alcohol. Or like, you could be a juggler. A person who really doesn't feel calm with just one person. You put all your eggs in that basket. And that's why you're mentally like up at night thinking about this person, waiting for the other shoe to drop. If you have this person at all in your life, justice is here again. Libra could figure strongly. You could have had some like legal dispute with this person or some like money. I'm hearing like a money focused attitude that you go to when you think of this person. You think of more of like time loss, money loss. But at the same time, this undercurrent of true love is here. And what is that undercurrent? Let us see further into this person because they seem to elude us. They seem to elude us. Weird. Are you in some sort of like, are you like an investigator, Scorpio? 1313 was on the clock. You could have been 26 when you last spoke to this person. This person could have been born on the 26th. This person was 26 when they last saw you. Someone who broke your heart. Someone sincere. But kind of dumb, I'm hearing. Weird. Okay, you could feel that you're a lot smarter than this person, Scorpio. And that is not really a great setup for a relationship. I'm hearing a lot of like, you know those like metal balls? It's like... <coughs> yes, you and, you and this person might have a little power play happening. Mm-hmm. This was somebody who you gave great counsel to at one point. But you held something back. And one of those one of you guys backstabbed the other one hard. Hard. I hate that. Ugh, I hate that. Okay, now finally. The best Jerry. Scorpio. This is search. I don't know if you're this person's backstabber or if that person backstabbed you. I'm hearing that obviously it was them. <laughs> Earthworm Jim. Okay, this person is very like, I'm feeling like they were a fan of charm. They could, they could be like very into magic. They could also be into like ancient symbolism. They could be into uh, compost, gardening, very like tree huggery, dirt, 
play sync with the cycles black bear in the reverse so this person could have rough i'm hearing like rough relationship with their femininity with their cycle with their period with their nighttime thoughts with their whole in their soul or their light from their soul something that is very overwhelming within them but they are out of sync with the cycle smoke smoke a lot it could be somebody that's very like layer focused like they like to be in their lair in their basement ecstasy of sinks <laughs> you are exactly where you need to be this person is exactly where they need to be but unknown territory is here so what is this shall we delve further into this shall we consult the book we almost never do this so let's do it okay unknown territory let's see You are exactly where you need to be, even if you're not consciously aware of it. Even if you don't have all the answers, keep going forward with your heart open. If you can't see clearly ahead and don't know where you're headed, keep moving forward. Do what feels right, even if your brain doesn't agree. Your heart always knows, instead of dismay, because you are in unknown territory. Celebrate that you're expanding by growing leaps and bounds. Boom, I love that. Okay, Scorpio. If you're trying to decide whether you should marry a lifelong sweetheart or a person who you've been through so many ups and downs yes if that person is trying to marry you and they have said that to you not if you are not in contact with them or if you are both let's say having problems with substance abuse issues 17 17 was on the clock if you've known that person since you were 17 or 17 and they were 21 no that is not the person in fact that's a very clear no message for you if this person is ready you're both older and established and have changed a lot from that time then yes. And, I'm going to say yes, and, what does this person think or feel about you? Justice again is here, eight of wands in reverse. They think that if you had something to say, then you would freaking say it, but you don't say it, or they don't say it. Or they feel like it's not fair that they can't say it, or they feel like it's not fair that they cannot talk to you. Okay, so. The outcome, Scorpio. <clears throat> Seven ones in the reverse. Good. An ending to your inability to not cooperate with this person. Or an ending to your inability to cooperate with this person. So, or an ending. It's like you don't want to feel like everybody's against you anymore. But I feel like that is a matter of perspective because it is in the reverse to you. Your hair can figure strongly here. In the wind, you have one staff left. You have one thing left. That could mean something to you. You might need one more night to think about it, one more day to think about it, but you also have, it looks like, the attention of everybody. And with it being in the reverse, I feel like that is a more positive message than if it was upright. All right. Lots to unpack. Magic to be your share, like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if anything resonated with you. Deuces.